to a, another edition of Eastman Guitars featuring me loving the sound of my own voice. Thank you for watching. It's nice to see you again. Tell you what, it's spring. Spring has sprung. We just grew these three Eastman out back in the garden because it's spring and that's when stuff pops out of the ground. Um, I've gotten rid of sweaters and I'm in a, my typical three-piece suit, t-shirt, jeans, and chucks. See ya. So three beast men that you may be considering depending on the features you want to look for and then also you know obviously what is in your budget so today's video is going to be all budgets all cutaways and uh, we'll run you through uh, even numbered models I'm holding a 222 I've got a 422 I've got a 622 all spruce tops, this being a Sitka top with Ovankole back and sides. This has the Fishman Sonotone pickup system. I love that word. I, I feel like that was invented in the 50s and they saved it until now to use. Sonotone, ooh. Um, I just think of it as a Fishman with a volume and a tone, which I love. They've used these control panels for years. This is really, really basic. I mean, this is basic, as I always say, put it right to work, um, cut away with a pickup. So. No more adieus, no furthers, sound of my own voice, remember? Here we go. on the finger picking no big deal Super duper balanced. Um, it's loud, surprisingly. Um, we've talked about the neck profile of the, of the Eastman before. This is really round. It's their C. See? Okay, so if I move from the 222 to the 422, again, and I had to ask if this was Engelman because it's so light, but it's uh, listed as Sitka, so. Uh, they upgrade the inlays. This is the uh, LR Bags Element VTC volume and tone control. Uh, we've done these before, so that you'll you'll have a, another reference of, of this in video format if you need it. But this compared to our Ovan Cole. Ready? I'm going to try to do the same stuff. <laughs>
Same neck, big neck. This is a glossier neck, though. This one had a, the satin finish, much like the entire guitar on the 222. The triple two. Ah, the awkward moving guitars around trick. Okay, so, and I don't know why this one has a handwritten label, but I dug it because it looked like someone actually wrote on it. This is the 822, uh, different inlays. Give Jason, our audio editor, audio auditor, uh, more to work with, more to be annoyed with me for using two camera angles. You're welcome, Jason. Um, first thing I notice, obviously, is the bevel, the arm bevel on my right arm. I just, it just feels better. I wish they could, I mean, this is me being picky, but I wish they could do a, a rib bevel. They probably won't listen to me, but this is pretty rad. I'll be really honest. I know you've seen this probably on, actually, I've seen it on, obviously, really high-end classical guitars. You know, they're on Taylor's. You know, um, even Kevin Ryan out in California, I know they do a bunch of arm bevels and wackiness. This is, this is nice. It really is. I'm just going to say it. It feels fine. It's, I prefer it. And I like the sound of my own voice. Don't forget. Um, there's a volute. There is obviously, as I said, more inlays, but there is maple binding all the way around. Uh, this is the LR Bags Anthem, which is obviously a microphone and a piezo. You already knew that. Oh, you want me to play? Okay. We talked about it that other time that it talked we had it has that it's got that I, I noticed the difference I know some people asked on the last video what if I did that as a silly thing and I no, you can I've heard back from folks that have bought these and they did the same thing and went yeah I, I noticed the projection straight up at my chin chinny chin chin so okay and and that two 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 four two two I think this is the 822. I was right, again. Um, Eastman questions, get in touch with us. Uh, these have been long awaited and we're getting more all the time. And there's lots of differences between them. So if you have questions, you can get in touch and let us know. And I'll play you out. I'm gonna go back through them really quickly. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Like when the 
band leaves the stage and then they come back and there's more! Hey. 